Hello my friends and welcome to this new playthrough of Shadow Man, the remaster that just keeps on giving. Uh, this is a new mode I'm going to do a playthrough of called The Horror and it kind of makes the game a little bit like New Game Plus. It adds much more difficulty and there's a bunch of new features and um, new ways of playing. So I'm really excited to check out this new mode. I'll go ahead and start the game up and let the first cutscene play and uh, I'll just catch us on the other side. So I'm gonna load up the horror. The 9th of November, 1888. By my deeds am I known, and I am known as Jack. spring Hill Jack, Jack the Ripper. By my deeds am I known, and they are truly bloody. I took them all to my heart. Mary Ann Nichols, Annie Chapman, Elizabeth Stride, Catherine Eddowes, Mary Kelly, and loved them, truly loved them all. But the immortal power I sought within the sordid confines of their bodies, the still beating organ of the soul, was not to be found. The ritual of the knife was to no avail. I am bereft, and must therefore perform that bloody ritual upon myself. Stay your hand, Jack, and listen to what I have to say. How did you find this place? Who are you? My name is Legion, for we are many. The immortal power that you seek does exist. It does indeed lie within the souls, but only within certain ones. Certain dark souls. My God! What are you that you can produce such things from thin air? Merely an explorer, much like yourself. What is it that you want from me? You are an architect by trade, are you not? I am. Then I would have you build a cathedral to pain. A place where you and I and others like us may join together. A place of asylum for all of the unique and misunderstood individuals that will follow you as the time of Armageddon approaches. And at the heart of asylum, we shall construct a great dark engine powered by souls of equal hue. And we shall harness their power to create an immortal army to punish and cleanse this pathetic world. And where might I build this cathedral of yours? Across the veil, in the darkness, amongst the restless spirits of those who have passed beyond, in the place known as Deadside. Then, if I am to join you, I must die. It is prophecy. We cannot fail. For we are many. For we are many! Amen to that. I had a dream, Shadow Man, a real bad dream, a dead side dream. The five are here, the heralds of the apocalypse. Deacon's file confirms everything I feared. The end's common, Shadow Man. An ancient prophecy tells of the return of a great evil to dead side. A terrible force gathering dark souls to its darker heart and using their power to cross over into this world and bring about. I must stop this evil from bringing about the end of all things. Only you can do it, Shadow Man. You are the walker between the worlds. I can't go dead side, and Jaunty's next to useless in both worlds. You are the only one who can do anything about this. As it ever was. But you ain't never confronted anything like this evil. It's so pure, not even the ancient protectors of the Dark Souls could destroy it. They could only banish it from dead side. They knew it'd come back one day. Hence the prophecy telling of its return. The power of the ancients is all but gone now. And the dark souls that evil desires lie unprotected. What you gotta do, Shadow Man, is to go dead side and recover the dark souls. 
take them into your own protection before evil gathers them to its terrible heart. Okay, so let me get this straight. If I don't recover these dark souls, then the world's gonna end. Am I right? You got it. Shit. Look, I gotta go. I've got a lot to do. Take Deacon's file and meet me at dawn at the church on the hill. I've kept your stuff safe for you. I hate this shit. Just a pawn in Nettie's master plan. She moves me in mysterious ways. And brother, sometimes she really does move me. Can't do nothing about it since, nice as you please, she knitted my ribs into the mask of shadows. I got nothing left anyways. It's my fault Luke's dead, and mom and pop too. I deserve everything I get. Every bad thing that comes my way. Can't live, can't die. Dead side's the perfect good for me. A nowhere place. The asshole of the universe. Now, where the hell is that church? Okay, so this is going to be really hard. Um, I the, the game at the minute is the new mode is in beta. Um, already there's been some updates to the beta. I'm going to go and collect some of these Caddo. I'll probably collect Caddo a lot more because uh, you get uh, more health if we get 100 of them. And obviously any little thing that helps um, is going to be a huge help in this mode. Um, I played this for a couple of hours and wow, it's, it is really difficult. Um, and now I will say it's been updated since I first played it, so some things are slightly easier. But this is like the first project where I'm genuinely not sure if I'm going to be able to complete it or not, or how the playthrough is going to go, because it just is that difficult. Um, when I first did my playthrough, the difficulty was all about uh, knowing where to go next and what to do. Um, now I pretty much know how to complete the game, um, and in fact I'll, I'll probably go back and use my own playthrough to re refresh my memory because it's been about a year since I um, started this, uh, the last playthrough, and I've already forgotten how to do a lot of it. Um, but yeah, the, the challenge isn't actually going to be in knowing where to go now, the challenge is purely the combat now, it's just, it's just that much more difficult to fight your way through the enemies because there's... Um, well, lots of reasons. I will go through them in a little minute, but right now I'm making my, my way to um, Nay. We're going to go in inside the church and there will be another cutscene I'll play. And again, I'll meet you on the other side of that cutscene. Nettie? Hey there, Mike. Glad you could make it. How could I refuse your offer? How could I ever refuse you, Agneta? You can't. I'm simply irresistible. I hope you read the file I gave you, and read it real well. Between the lines, you'll find the signs. You got my stuff? Come on in, honey. You know, on the way over here, I got to thinking about these dark souls. If they're so damn dangerous, why didn't the ancients just destroy them? Because that's impossible. Their power is their immortality. If evil ever manages to implant these immortal souls into its monstrous slaves, can you imagine the carnage an immortal, unbeatable army would bring to the earth? That's Apocalypse, Shadow Man. That's the end. Okay, okay. So I really gotta get to the Dark Souls before the bad guy. I understand that. But where do I find them? In Govi. Each Govi has been sealed by the most powerful voodoo. Not even the greatest Bokor or Mambo can open them to release the dark soul within. Believe me, I've tried. But a Shadow Man, or something even more powerful, just might be able to do it. Release the dark soul and take it into yourself. But be warned, the dark souls are a pure and ancient evil and possess a power that should not be abused. Okay, okay. Let's just get this thing over with. You got my stuff? Right here. Jesus, Luke! He's alive! Alive and in pain! I gotta help him! He's dead, Mike. You know that. I know, but I saw. It's understandable that you still have strong feelings for your brother. That's why the bear works for you. Connecting you to the side. 
Use it now, Mike. Go dead side and find Jonty. He's waiting for you at the Merrow Gate. He's got something to show you. Okay. And Mike? Yeah? If you need me, I'll be here. Now, go see Jonty and get them dark souls. Okay, so um, let's just pick up some Kado as usual. I'm just gonna go out of my way a wee bit more to pick these up um, somewhere in here. Uh, before I go dead side, what I'm gonna do is give you guys a little tour of um, Louisiana, but I'm not gonna do it in game, I'm actually gonna do it in Blender. I'm gonna show you guys what this level looks like from a bird's eye view. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save my game here first. And you get a little skull beside your save so you know it's the horror mode. And you'll see that I no longer have the option to save anymore because in the horror game type you only get to save once and then you can't save again until you die or you reload your checkpoint and I'll explain that a little bit more later. But let's go ahead and open up Blender. So here we are uh, in Blender and you can see I was just inside the church. Um, some guys commented on my last video that they'd like to see some um, what the, the levels look like from bird's eye view. So this is the level we're at right now, Louisiana. Um, it's basically a circuit. You work your way um, in through like a cave system. The Anything you see in white here is actually water. So you'll swim about in the water and you can just basically uh, do a circuit the whole way around until you get to the bottom and then you're back to the start, um, which is like over here. And then this is the little bridge that we passed earlier. Um, just a little bit of a tunnel system really and you have lots of underground hidden things um, Caddo, Govi, things like that but this first level is really just uh, almost like an assault course training type level where it just um, teaches you how to play the, and move and grab onto things and things like that um, if you die you just go to dead side you may see in the corner of the map here we have this little circular area again this white should be water I don't know why it's not rendering as water but this is actually where you would see a cutscene for the end row of the game. This is the area that it just kind of, it's like a loop where it just like loops around this um, little island, I suppose. Uh, so that's what that area is in case you're wondering. That's not like a part of the level as such. It's where the cutscene was filmed. And yeah, that's pretty much Louisiana just for any of you who are wondering. I kind of was thrown off by just how high up this church was in relation to the rest of the game. But I suppose you do, whenever you come into the level, um, I think you start sort of down here and you can see the, the church off in the distance, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that's Louisiana. Um, let's get back into Shadow Man and make our way to Deadside. Let's make our way to the Marrow Gates. Now, there's not much more to do in uh, Louisiana. So we're going to warp to the Marrow Gates and talk to Jonte. Now, you'll notice that if I tried to save now, I no longer have a save option anymore. But if I warp, let's see if this works. If I warp tomorrow gates, I should, because I'm entering a new level, I should get my save back. I am the Lord of Deadside, shadow born at the confluence of worlds to walk between. Life side is without the meaning that my partly living possesses here in Deadside, where the darkness is manifest at the edges of reason. As a god, I step forth upon the writhing, separating surface of the dead side serpent. What sleep is here? What dreams there are in the unctuous coilings of the snake's mortal shuffling? Weapon in my hand, my hand, the arcing death blow at the end of all things. The horror, the horror, I embrace it. The horror indeed. Uh, let's see if we can embrace it. Uh, I just hope I can. And let's just see now. Do I have my save? Yes, there it is right there. I can now save my adventure because I warped. So that's a feature with the horror mode. Um, you only get one save per level-ish. Um, and then if you die, it comes back. I think it's just basically to stop you from save spamming um, and kind of uh, cheesing the game by just saving every two seconds. So it just makes it a little bit more difficult. The next thing you'll notice is these enemies are not dropping health. And again, that's another feature of the new horror mode. 
Um, usually whenever you kill an enemy with your shadow gun, they don't drop any, or they, they'll drop some health for you. In this game type, they won't. With one exception being this enemy right here, if he sucks the health out of you, like, or she, I'm not sure if it was a boy or a girl, right, come on. It's, it's not even attack me right now, that's unusual. Um, let's try the next one. If they suck your life out of you, it's unusual, usually, okay, here we go. Usually they would be um, hurting me right now, but this one just decided to give up. Let's see if I can get them to take my life force. Okay, this one's just not doing it, but um, usually if uh, they take a little bit of your life and you kill them, they actually will drop at least one health. That's the only exception in the game. Other than that, no other enemy will drop health, which is an instantly makes the game so much harder. So let's go and check out what Johnny has to say, and I'll see you on the other side. Hello there, Michael. How is that treating you? Johnny, kindly refer to me as Shadow Man. Michael Lawal has no place here in Deadside. Whatever, Mick. It's good to see you again. Seems like simply ages since I last set my eyes on your happy, smiling mug. The feeling's mutual. I suppose you've been away dallying with the old battle axe, giving her one with some of that righteous voodoo so she can stay forever young? Something like that. She's been filling your head with her fated pillow talk again, I'll bet. Doomsday in an army giddy until you're drunk with the stuff. She did happen to mention a certain prophetic dream she's been having. Did she now? Well, for once I think the owl witch might be right. See that bloody big black tower yonder? How could I miss it? Well, old Bruegel, the medieval painter blokey, was just telling me the other day that he thought it looked remarkably like a picture he once did. Is that Peter Bruegel? No, Seamus, his distant Irish cousin. Anyways, he was quite shocked, so he was, at the terrible mess that bloody thing's making. Appearing out of nowhere and tearing its way through the place like there's no tomorrow. Which, given what Nettie's saying, might not be too far from the truth. Any idea what's going on in there? Nope, and I shan't be knocking on the front door to find out, neither. All I'd say is, if there's something wicked heading this way, it'll be coming from in there. Nettie mentioned the Dark Souls. Can you tell me any more about them? I'm afraid I'll have to reply in the negative again, Michael. Suffice it to say, Nettie's told me that they're bloody powerful, well nigh indestructible, and shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Any idea where they might be? What am I, a Dark Soul travel guide now? I suppose you could try all of the ancient sacred places down amongst the whalers and shiverers. We just hope that none of them souls have ended up in that filthy big black tower. From what Nettie was saying, some of them already have, which is all the more reason for me to be pushing on. Open the gates, Jaunty. Places to go, people to see, eh, Michael? Just open the gates, Jaunty. Did I ever tell you about the time me and Attila the Hun were playing skittles with the guillotine heads of the French aristocracy? Jaunty. All right, all right, keep your bloody hair on. Which, looking at your shining bonds, may prove to be rather difficult. Open sesame! And if you be wanting to pop by and chat a while, I'll still be here. It's just a shame we can't share a drop of the hard stuff together by a rod and peat fire. I don't drink with snakes. Okay, once again, um, I, I like I said, I got a comment from someone who said they would love to see what um, it was actually Morrow Gates and the Temple of Life would look like from a bird's eye view. They wanted to see how the paths would relate to each other. So let's once again jump into Blender. So, interestingly, the Blender model is a little bit disjointed. Now, um, the funny thing with the comment was that the, the person said they wanted to see how the paths all related to each other, and I think the answer is they don't. Um, I think what happens is um, the, the level gets loaded in different parts depending on which of these little action boxes you trigger. So, like, if you get far enough to walk into, like, one of these... Um, yellow boxes and a different part of the map loads because um, it kind of is in line with each other a little bit but not really like for some reason Jaunty is like standing in what looks like a path um, there's the gates there uh, and you can see like the castle or the asylum does line up a little bit but not really actually um, this is the starting point right here Again, anything you see in white is like water, so I think this is like the red blood water. 
you've got a blood fall leading to the number uh, 10 gate which then leads to the book of I think it's the book of prophecy it's called where you get all the little um, uh, concept art and cool things like that but this level of all of the ones I've looked at looks pretty disjointed um, really so what we have to do in this level though um, and I'm going to jump in back into in a little minute we need to get over to this green box and this will pre this is like a button press which shoots a rope out of this thing which then opens up a shortcut and just uh, leads to the first coffin gate which is uh, you don't need it to be a shadow level which then leads into this little chamber in here which allows us to get our first govi and uh, another book I think possibly the book of prophecy I can't even remember what this one was called uh, and then that will get us through our first coffin door which leads to the temple of life and I don't even think there's anything actually let me just hide this castle or the asylum a minute yeah I don't oh yeah no there it is there so this is uh, this, this little skin bridge down here will lead to there's just there's the skin bridge and that leads to the temple of life so let's make our way there now okay let's make our way back to uh, or miss it let's make our way through the marble gates and make our way to the temple of life uh, opening up that shortcut while we do so and let's talk a little bit more about the horror mode what else are we to expect let's see if this guy takes my life yeah he took my life and then watch this I'm gonna get my one bar back, well half a bar actually. Um, so yeah, I think pickups actually give you slightly less health. Um, this is the dead side, the wasteland, the nothing beyond the bone-packed gates. Here Luke, my dear lost brother, wanders alone amidst the aimless ranks of those who cannot die. He still, with the ache for death, I too may discover within my blighted heart. Here, the true darkness at the heart of all things is made real. What we see in death's dominion is as void as a dead man's gaze, as cold as the light from a dying star. Okay, I forgot there was another cutscene. There's so many cutscenes in this game. Um... Yeah, so I was saying you take more damage, uh, you deal less damage, I think your weapons are less powerful, and um, I guess when you pick up uh, health, you must pick up slightly less health as well. So yeah, it's just all in all, health-wise, um, all around, it's just much harder. We are going to get a voodoo weapon fairly early, and you, and you can imagine there's a much more reliance on voodoo weapons um, because like obviously whenever you're playing this game if you kill enemies in the original mode with your shadow gun you get a little bit of health back so it's in your interest to finish enemies off with a shadow gun because that's not the case in the horror game type you just um, use your voodoo weapons a lot more and just rely on them a bit more to kill enemies I guess um, I'm just going to try and run past this guy as best I can. Try and get this uh, Kado. Yeah, so I'm just trying my best to make my way through the levels. I may backtrack later and try and get a few more Kado, but because I've just started my playthrough, I'm super, super weak. I don't have much health bars. Um, I don't have any voodoo weapons yet, so I'm not really strong enough to to put up a good fight against um, parts of this level so yeah I'm just trying to make my way through and start to level up a little bit just give myself that little bit of an advantage and then I'll probably come back when I'm a little bit stronger and, and more able to fight these enemies um, because they can whoa they can gang up on you pretty quickly and um, you know basically kill you very very quickly so let's just press this button that's activated the shortcut so if I die I can get back here a lot quicker in that respect again this just reminds me of Dark Souls even more now that like the bonfires in Dark Souls like when you rest at them the enemies come back and it's kind of like this where if you warp out of the level and then warp back 
they come back in the game so in some ways it does make it feel a little bit more like Dark Souls. Okay, first coffin door opened, and we've successfully made it to um, get this book of prophecy, I believe it's called. Oh, and I've got my save bag. You can see a little, little animation there told me I now can save again, which I will do because I don't want to go back to the start uh, or back to my last save. And because I've picked up the key item there, uh, the book of prophecy, um, I've got my save back again, so now um, that's pretty cool. So I can save again if I need need to. So it does. It's not too stingy with the saves. Um, it just prevents you from uh, from just uh, you know cheesing the game. That's all. So let's go up and get our first Dark Soul. That's cool. There, it's giving us a little prompt again. There's lots of new things that's going to be added since my first playthrough little prompt there to go and talk to Nettie. I'm not going to, but <laughs> I've seen enough cutscenes already. The power of the Dark Souls. I embrace it. So, I've got my first shadow level, which allows me to open this first door. And I can now charge my shadow gun, which does actually help a little bit. It makes it a little bit more powerful. The more we can charge, the better. And I can now pick up Voodoo as well. <laughs> I don't know if I should be calling it voodoo or mana, but yeah, I can pick up the little, um, they always look like little fireballs to me, and uh, uh, once I get my voodoo weapon, that's going to be helpful. Again, that obviously the higher level you get, the more voodoo you can hold, so it's in your interest to rank up as quickly as you can. Let's go across this skin bridge into the temple of life. Unsalvaged souls that drift beyond the narrow gates for an eternity of waiting. This infinite limbo, this wasteland, this untamed, unnatural afterbirth I command with my endless darkness. What ineffable secrets are whispered within the paths of shadow? What red-edged realities rising bleak above the blasted skyline? Deadwing, duppy, zombie mother. This voodoo lord outlasts them all. Okay, this is probably the best time just to uh, leave this first video here. And it's a good place for my next video. So we're going to check out the Temple of Life. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you'll join me in the next video.